You can compute matrix times vector and matrix times matrix using the definitions. There is, however, a way to compute these products faster. At least it's faster if you are able to compute inner products by heart without making mistakes. This faster procedure is called the row column rule. In this web lecture, we'll see how the row column rule works and we will apply it to a few products. First, we apply the row column rule to matrix times factor. We take the matrix A and the factor B over here and we want to compute A times X. So, what should we do? We make a pile of rows to the left and a list of columns to the right. Well, there's only one column, so it's a short list. And how do we compute the product A times X? Well, we start above and we take the inner product of the first row with this column as first entry. And then we continue down. We take the inner product of the second row with the column over here as our second entry. So our resulting vector will contain two entries, two inner products, and then we compute the inner products 3 plus 0 plus 2 equals 5 and minus 3 plus 2 plus 0 equals minus 1. And there we are. Well, if you do it like this, it's of course not faster than just using the definition because you have to write down this complete expression over here, which is quite large. But in practice, you will compute all those inner products by heart without writing them down. So how does that work? Take a slightly different pr inner pro uh, 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 product over here. We make a pile of rows and then we compute the product. Inner product 1, 0, 0 with 3 to 1 yields 3 plus 0 plus 0 equals 3. Then we go to the second row over here. 0, 1, 0, inner product with 3 to 1 equals 0 plus 2 plus 1 equals 2. And then we are down, we have 0, 0, 1, inner product with 3 to 1 yields 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 1. So let's see, now you see why it's faster, because you do not write this step in between. And furthermore, you see something special. We have 3 to 1, we do this product, and we have the same number. So this matrix over here in the product doesn't change the vector. So it basically sort of acts like a 1 because 1 times 7 equals 7. This matrix acts the same from factors. So it's a special matrix in that sense. Now let's see how this works for matrix times matrix. What should we do then? A times B, matrix times matrix. What should we do? We make a pile of rows over here and a list of columns on the right matrix. And when we compute this product, First, we start with the first row and the first column. It will yield our first entry. Then we go down. We take the second row and the first column, and we get this entry over here. Then we are done with this first column. Then we continue. We take the inner product of this first row with the second column as our entry over here. And finally, we take the inner product of the second row with the second column as our entry over there. And then we are done with it second column. Well, if you made your matrix B would have more columns, no problem, then you just continue this procedure and you get more inner products over there. Now we can compute all inner products. 1 plus 0 plus 6 equals 7. Minus 1 plus 2 plus 0 equals 1. 4 plus 0 plus 12 equals 16. Minus 4 plus 5 plus 0 equals 1. And there we are. And of course, again, if you have to write it down completely like this, uh, it's not faster to compute your matrix product with the row column rule, but usually you will compute all those inner products by heart and write down the answer immediately. Let's try that for one more example. We again take this matrix over here, and let's see what happens. We make a pile of rows and a list of columns. First we take inner product of 1, 0, 0 with 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 0 plus 0 equals 1. Then we go down 0, 1, 0 with 1, 2, 3 equals uh, 0 plus 2 plus 3 equals 2. And finally 0, 0, 1 with 1, 2, 3 equals 
0 to 0 to 3 equals 3. And then we are done with the first column over here. And we go to the second column. 1, 0, 0, inner product is 4, 5, 6 equals 4 plus 0 plus 0 equals 4. We go down, 0, 1, 0, inner product is 4, 5, 6. 0 plus 5 plus 0 equals 5. And the last one, 0, 0, 1, inner product is 4, 5, 6 equals 0 plus 0 plus 6 equals 6. And we are done with the second column. So there we have our matrix product. And as you see, this matrix uh, here doesn't change the matrix over here. After the product, this matrix has remained the same. So this matrix over here acts again, say, as a 1 for the matrix multiplication. Well, now you know how to multiply two matrices. You can either use the definition or if you are good at computing inner products by heart, you can use the row column rule.